All right, we got Shaquille here. John Boyle, lead us off. Check. how you doing? Uh, just Pete was talking about the defense, kind of what you guys have been doing both today and in practice, you know, a couple takeaways today. Just how good do you feel as an overall unit with the way you're playing right now, Andy? Um, pretty good. Um, I feel like we're starting to come into our own, uh, which is the best part. Um, as you can see, we still got a lot of stuff to work on and um, figure out. But it's, uh, after today, it's, it's a good feeling to kind of see where we're going and getting the ball taken away. And that's stuff we got to kind of build on. Um, actually, I was talking to Bobby today about it. You know, um, it's cool to get back while well, punching the ball out and everything. But now it's time for me to start, you know, catching those passes. And, you know, I feel like with everything that's going on with this defense, we're starting to come into our own, starting to build something. So uh, it's just pretty cool to see it. Corbin Smith. Hey, Shaq, it really seems like the last, over the last few practices, especially the light switch is really coming on for Marquise Blair. You're talking about getting your hands on the football, and he did it twice today. What are you seeing from him right now compared to where he was at this time last year that's allowing him to have so much success? Um, he's comfortable. Um, you know, I feel like last year, you know, he was kind of going with the flow. You know, he was a rookie. He was learning. But now he's playing more like a, like, more like a vet. Let's say that. And um, he's comfortable. You can feel it when he's out there with us. He don't feel like he shouldn't be out there. And, that, and that's the main part. You know, you have people who come in and play in different groups, and they feel like they don't belong. And um, that's the, the last thing he thinks about when he's out there with us. Uh, he feels like he's a part. He feels like he's doing everything that he can do to contribute. And he's doing that. He's showing up and expect, making the plays that we expect him to make. And, you know, he came up big twice today, which is cool. You know, it's cool to see that because we can expect that from him during the season. So, and it's, it's awesome. So um, he's, he's just comfortable now. You know, it seemed like he'd been doing it for a while, and, and it's cool to see come to his own. So uh, he's doing an amazing job so far. Art Till. Uh, Shaq, uh, Pete just talked to us a little bit about the meetings you guys have had uh, regarding the police killing in Wisconsin, and I just wanted to get your take on what kind of um, expression you guys want to make, uh, if that included the anthem that today and, and what else might be in store. Um, it, it's tough. It's a tough situation to kind of to speak on, but uh, the main thing is just keeping awareness to it. I know we have having everything coming back, sports, basketball, football. It's a lot that's going on between the two, and uh, the main thing is just keeping awareness. And it's tough because you try to figure out ways to kind of help but still do your job and doing it the correct way. So uh, it's tough. Even when it comes to the national anthem, you know, that's something that we got to, you know, speak on as a team. It's everything that we do has got to be a unit, and, uh, and we got to show unity. So. Um, it's a tough subject. I um, feel like everybody know that. And right now, we're still just trying to figure it out. It's, it's, it's tough because you have everything happening, you know, back to back with all these different situations and these, and these t people getting killed, you know, back to back. It, it's, it's just tough. So, um, you know, uh, the main thing is we just got to come together. And that's something that we probably got to sit down and talk about as a team, you know. So we got to keep that same awareness for each other so uh, no one ever forgets. Thanks. AJ McCord. Hey, Shark. So in regards to the last mock game today, I guess, how do you guys feel you are ready knowing that the next time you're going to be in a big stadium like this is going to be Atlanta? Uh, we'll be uh, definitely ready. Um, I feel like it's something that we still can, uh, have to build off of. Um, it was a great day, get a chance to really hit someone. I feel like today was my first time actually putting my pads literally on someone making a tackle. So uh, I honestly felt you know, good about it. Um, and that's the main thing we got to continue to build off. I feel like last year we kind of slacked a little bit in certain games when it comes to missed tackles, and um, that's the main thing we got to focus on now going into, you know, week one. Um, I feel like we can tackle well. Every time we tackle well each game, it's usually come out a pretty good game, you know. So um, that's the main thing we can focus on. So I'm glad Pete Carroll and everybody gave us a chance to really, you know, put our pads on each other. You know, we still look out for each other, but it was just time to bring people down and kind of get the feel for it. But um, after today, I feel like we'll definitely be ready for week one. So right now, we just got to continue to build on what we did today. Ben Arthur. Hey, Shaq, you, you mentioned how you, you guys want to deal with, you know, kind of the, the police shooting of uh, J Jacob Blake as a team, how to figure out how you guys can bring awareness together. But from a personal standpoint, um, you know, obviously being a younger black man, you know, in America, how are you feeling about kind of the state of the country and um, you know, just having this happen again. How are you do? How are you doing personally and emotionally? Um, emotionally, you know, it's kind of stuff that you got to kind of, you know, hold back because you want to say what you need to say. But right now, it's always a certain time and a certain place for everything. 
And right now, when it comes to the point where, like, I'm speaking now, it's okay to kind of speak on top of it because, like I said, you got to continue to show awareness and use the platform that we have today. But like I said, there's always a time and place for that. And happening, you know, so soon is just, it's, it's tough. And like I said, it's a, it's a really touchy subject, you know, to kind of just sit here and put my views on it. But like I said, the only thing I can do in my part is kind of use my platform and, and kind of keep awareness towards it. Like I said, there's some people that's kind of veering away from it because sports is back, and which we all need. Don't get me wrong. I feel like we all need sports. You know, I missed it. Everybody else missed it. But it's a really touchy uh, subject. And right now, the only thing I can do is continue to show awareness. You know, I feel like right now, the only thing I can continue to do is speak upon it, um, keep people informed that what's going on is not right. And we got to continue to find ways to move on from that and kind of fix it. So right now, you just got to use your platform and make sure people never forget. Greg Bell. Hi, Shaquille. When did you know what the Bucks did today in Orlando? And is it a possibility that your Seahawks or an NFL team won't take a field and will forfeit the same way the Bucks did? Well, the way I found out, I found out from a text from my father, actually. And he was like, did you see what just happened? Man, I'm so proud of the NBA. So I looked at the text, so that's when I went on Twitter and kind of seen everything that was going on. And right now, when it comes to the Seahawks, I feel like one thing we focus on is week one. You know, I feel like the, the what the Bucks are doing, you know, whatever they feel like is right, that's something that they spoke upon. And, you know, remember I said before, this is something that, as a team, you got to speak about. I feel like people can't go, you know, and be an individual and do their own thing and try to figure, like, try to figure out if this is right or not. I feel like at this point, we got to speak as a team and kind of figure out what's best. But as of right now, we're just focusing on week one. You know, I feel like everybody in this locker room probably don't even know what's going on. You know, like I said, I, I heard it from a text. So um, at this point, we just got to figure out what's best for us. But uh, we're keeping our focus on Atlanta Falcons week one and try to finish this camp out strong. Thank you. All right, Shaq, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more. Sorry, oh, Curtis Crabtree. No doubt. Hey, Shaq, uh, apologies if you were asked this already, but how do you feel your secondary is coming together now with, with Quentin now back on the field with you, Jamal coming in, and just how everything's kind of piecing together? I feel like they got everybody in the right places now. Um, I feel like, especially when it comes to Marquise Blair, I feel like he's been shining so far in this camp, doing an amazing job, definitely the front runner right now in the secondary for just doing an awesome job and doing everything right this camp. And then the piece that we added, you know, we still, you know, adding Jamal was, was insane. So that's been a... Uh, uh, a hell of an experience, actually. And then, you know, having Conjure, we still got, you know, um, Trey Flowers, you know, Quinn Dunbar. We got everything that we possibly need in the secondary to do awesome things. So um, I'm just excited as you guys are to kind of figure out how this goes this season. And uh, I feel like there's going to be a lot of plays to be made. I feel like there's going to be a lot of arguing when it comes to getting the most picks, you know, most pass breakups, most tackles. But it's going to be a competition between, you know, each other. So when you can have that between the secondary, there's some awesome things that's going to come out of it. Thanks, Jack. No doubt, no doubt. Appreciate Thank you guys. You